Hey it's Skulls, I'm back with another Bleach Brave Souls video. I'm sure you've heard and seen it by now, but the 1000 Year Blood War anime trailer just dropped the other day and the hype is real. It feels so great to be a Bleach fan. There's so much content coming soon for all of us to feast upon. One of them is the upcoming Bankai Live on December 25th. With insight, data mine, and speculation, we can give an honest prediction on what to expect for the future of BBS. Disclaimer though, I'll be discussing leaked content, such as future soul traits, so watch with discretion. Before I get into it, I must say that if you find this video entertaining or informative to any degree, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe. The interaction helps a lot for others to discover my content. Now with that out of the way, let's get started. For Bleach Brave Souls, New Year's is one of the biggest celebrated events, if not THE biggest event. New Year's is pretty much tied with Anniversary for first place. But did you know that the anniversary that you know and love in July is actually only celebrating the Japanese release? New Year's is such a big deal because that's actually Global's anniversary that we're celebrating. Or close enough, January 14th is the actual Global release date. Now that we understand why New Year's is such a big deal, Let's understand where we currently stand with in-game content. Right now, the game is undergoing the Spirits Are Forever With You novel collaboration, which so far has been two canon characters, while the other five were original designs. We also know that Caleb has also renewed the Thousand Year Blood War license, as we got a rerun banner after months of drought. With that, Caleb now is left with a decision. Will they release Spirits Are Forever With You characters, or Blood War characters for New Year's? Before I get further into that, let me debunk a third option. For the New Year's event in 2019, Caleb had released an original design character that was supervised by Tade Kubo, that being Quincy Ichigo. However, I doubt that this will be the case for this year. Similar to Anniversary where 90% of the time we receive an original design character, it has always been a teaser released weeks before. With the Bankai Live being less than a week away, it just doesn't seem possible. Now. Back to the Spirits Are Forever With You and Blood War discussion. Which one should we expect for New Year's? Well, here's what I believe. It would feel intrusive to just introduce a new Blood War banner in the middle of a Spirits Are Forever With You season. Not just that, we have had somewhat mediocre characters for Spirits Are Forever With You. I'm not saying that the original character designs are terrible, but there's just so much more hype around Azashiro, Kuro Yashiki, and my personal favorite, Uruzakuro. If Caleb were to take a break from the novel characters now, it would leave a terrible taste in the meantime. Think of it as a business standpoint, it makes sense. What does Caleb like to do? Sell character packs. When do they release character packs? When they resurrect characters. With where resurrected characters are currently, we are urgently in due for round 1 Blood War characters to get theirs next. So not only will there be a hype banner with the novel Kenpachis, but also concurring Blood War resurrections. A little stress to further prove my point, but Sajin's voice actor will be attending the Bankai Live, who also happens to be a part of the round 1 of the Blood War characters. With the conclusion on what characters to expect, let's go over the leaked soul traits that these characters could potentially have. With Frenzy Plus 2, it was destined for Flurry Plus 2 to arrive eventually. SP based characters have been a craze in the recent years, and when I think about strong attack characters, I think of Anniversary Aizen, Artwork Ichigo, Spears Are Forever With You, Kisuke and Shinji, Bruno, like, the list is endless compared to normal attack characters. When I think of normal attack characters, I think of Blood War Sajin, Unohana, Jugram, and Tsukushima. We have yet to receive an up-to-date, stupidly broken normal attack character, which could be recognized instantly by the community. Two more new skills to expect in the future, or possibly for the end of the year, are Ignore Last Ditch Survival, and full HP recharge. I can see that whoever gets the Flurry Plus 2 skill will definitely be paired with the Ignore Last Ditch skill. Raid battles will become even more toxic than ever before. Now the one I'm personally most excited about is the full HP Strong Attack Recharge skill. Personally, I enjoy using full stamina damage links in epic raids, so being able to use my strong attacks more often would be a huge benefit. Even outside of epic raids, being rewarded for playing so well as to not get hit is a great incentive for faster clear times. To wrap up the discussion on characters, I'll quickly talk about this screenshot here. 
we can see the different kind of link slot level indicators Caleb had planned, but with the feedback from the community, it's most likely no more than trash. However, the idea of link slot level cap being raised to 30 is still a possibility. I just hope that we get 5 times runs for inheritance trials beforehand, because getting enough for 2020 is like an unpaid 9 to 5 job. That's all I have to share relating towards characters themselves, so let's move on. For co-op, we can expect to be getting bonus characters. I don't know how to feel about this because now it limits who we use even more. First with epic raids, then potion drop characters, man, I just want to use my blood war shantsui. There's also the addition of ice hazards, similar to the pull of poison and paralysis, where your movement will be greatly exaggerated. This could be added to inheritance trials and Sankaimon, but for now it seems its main focus is for epic raids. My thought is that Toshiro might be the next epic raid character. With the trend of the past new year celebrations, you can also expect to choose a 6 star summon and a co-op event to farm. I just hope that the co-op event will be similar to the 6th anniversary one, because the drops were insane. Breaker, breaking news, breaking news for Bleach Brave Soul. Ladies and gentlemen, this is not a fucking drill. 1,998 rainbow pots, 132 regular Hogyukus, 66 enhanced Hogyukus. To wrap everything up, my opinion for the New Year's celebration is that Caleb will release hype, spirits are forever with you novel characters, such as the Kimpachis, alongside the introduction of resurrected Blood War characters. The current Cinderella raid ends by then, so we're in due for a new raid boss. Which I believe will be Toshiro with the evidence of the new ice environmental hazard. It is also guaranteed for the Choose a 6 star to return, as well as a nice co-op event to farm. What do you guys think about my speculation? Let me know in the comments below. And until next time.